Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Final Fantasy 16 video. In today's video I'm going to show you an accessory that you have got to be using, especially in the early game, if not through the longevity of the game. We're also going to talk about a few accessories that maybe you should avoid rather than obviously be using for your best experience within Final Fantasy 16. Anyway, if you do like today's video and you do want to see more Final Fantasy 16 content, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, let's mosey. So once you start the game, I think it's after the first mission, or not long after, I can't remember now, you're going to unlock five accessories called the Timely Accessories. And as you can see here, we've got the Timely Ring of, well, Ring of Timely Assistance, Ring of Timely Evasion, Focus, Timely Strikes, and Timely Healing. And some of them can be absolutely brilliant, and others can be very lackluster, and maybe you should avoid them. And we're going to talk today about them and obviously which ones I would highly recommend you use, if not through just the beginning of the game to get used to it, but maybe even the full campaign. So you're going to take a look at the timely accessories now. Um, at the moment, as you can see, I have got the Ring of Timely Assistance on. Reason being, that will take care of Torgal's abilities, heals and things like that. It's just one less thing when fighting to worry about switching over and obviously controlling toggle so for me this is a must but it's not the one i want to talk about the one that i think every player should be using and it is particularly a bit cheese if i'm being honest in the sense of makes things a lot easier than they should be and that is the ring of timely evasion as you can see when equipped clive will automatically evade attacks as long as the attack can be evaded now up to this point in the game I've obviously not had this equipped, I'll be honest, so all the boss fights, even though I've got through them, you know, quite a lot of times I'm finding hard to time the evasion. And just to put this into perspective, this particular accessory, when it says will automatically evade attacks, it'll automatically evade all attacks if they can be evaded. So you can just focus on the offense and not worry about getting knocked over. And in all honesty, you don't really take much damage either side of it so it's a bit of a god mode accessory as i say a bit of a cheese also we just want to touch base on the other uh, timely accessories so a lot of people use ring of timely strikes when equipped complex abilities combinations can be executed by simply pressing square honestly i would avoid this as much as possible there is obviously a lot of articles online that suggest this is really good for me it's not basically what that means as soon as you press square clive will use any ability that he's got charged up and obviously when you get into later games there's a few abilities that take a lot longer to charge up because they're a lot more powerful than the obviously the first abilities that you get so for instance if i just back out here obviously we've got the akon uh, phoenix here and at the moment, I'm using Rising Flame, which is the one that you start with. But secondly, Flames of Rebirth, which hits a lot harder, does a lot of AoE damage, but it takes a lot longer to charge up as well. If you've got Timely Strikes equipped, it's going to use that as soon as it can. So you may be in a particular boss fight where you're trying to uh, stagger them, you know, break them, and then use your abilities. If you've got, obviously, Timely Strikes on, and you, you're using your abilities as soon as they're available and you're not saving them, come that stagger phase, you're not going to be doing as much damage as you, as you obviously possibly can. So for me, stay clear of this particular accessory. And the same with the Rings of Timely Healing. It's very rare that you get so close to dying uh, without noticing that you don't have to use a heal. And let's face it, this is obviously muscle memory. You've obviously got Toggle healing you as well to a certain aspect. So for me, stay clear of that. And then the thing is with the focus ability, that's all. this is similar to the evasion accessory, but obviously when this one equips, it slows down those evadable enemy attacks on Clive. So, it, But also, as you can see there, it has no effect when it's equipped with the timely evasion. So for me, out of the five, I would only use these two, the ring of timely evasion and the ring of timely assistance. But if you only want to use one because you're limited to three slots, it's, I suppose the preference is down to you. If you feel that you can evade most attacks pretty easy, then go for it, just run with the obviously timely assistance, but for obviously getting through missions and getting through boss fights, I can't recommend the Ring of Timely Evasion enough, especially if you are new to the game, gives you time to get used to the mechanics, switching obviously, switching icons, you know, using abilities, getting everything timed to perfection, I would definitely run with this, especially in the early game, if not through 
the entirety of the game. Anyway, that is it for today's Final Fantasy 16 video. If you did like it, don't forget to hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe, obviously, for more Final Fantasy 16 videos. And yeah, that's the video.